Charles Leclerc is doing another lap here, Paul. He is, he's through the first sector. Oh, oh that's Alex spin. Albon, and he's gone into the barriers at turn 13. And he's gone in in session a very over. hefty way. That is his session over, and he will get knocked out in Q1, and there's a red flag as well. He's not locked to front. Oh, he's just carried a bit too much speed, and you can see when the rear becomes disconnected, it's like somebody pulling up the handbrake, and um, yeah, I mean, for somebody that was low in confidence already. You okay? That's not going to help. And at the moment, Lando Norris is ninth fastest on the board. So is this lap going to improve things for Lando Norris? It goes up to seventh fastest overall uh, with a 134.2. His teammate Carlos Sainz goes above him, sixth fastest. Checkered flag now flying, so all these laps I got a count. Roman Grosjean, 10th fastest. Kevin Magnussen, 6th fastest. Gasly is in the bottom five at the moment. Has Gasly gone fast enough? He's gone 11th, pushes Giovinazzi down. George Russell didn't like where he was sent out. 17th fastest out qualifies his teammate Robert Kubica on that as, uh, at the moment. Now Lance Stroll, can he get himself into Q2? He's put himself 11th fastest. So is standing a very good chance uh, this week. Valtteri Bottas, fourth quickest overall as the Mercedes leaps up into the top four. We're now on board with Kimi Raikkonen making his way and not very steadily round the final turn. He is very much at risk and now in the bottom five because his teammate Antonio Giovinazzi has just beaten Kimi Raikkonen in qualifying. Perez goes 12th fastest. Ricardo at the moment is safe but I'm sure he'd like to finish a little higher up than just uh, 14th. Looking at Robert Kubica, he's not going to trouble the, uh, the the top 15. Uh, Ricardo goes seventh fastest overall. Kimi Raikkonen, the big name to miss out on Q2. Pressure affecting drivers out there. Pierre Gasly's just had a bit of an off. And Gasly at the moment in P6, a member of that 133.9 club. Lando Norris is sixth fastest, so hopefully has put himself into Q3. Carlos Sainz next to come, goes seventh fastest, pushing Gasly down after Gasly had made that mistake. Grosjean goes sixth fastest. Good lap time from the Haas driver there. Next across the line should be Daniel Ricciardo, or Sebastian Vettel actually, uh, who's uh, not set purples, but is improving his times at the moment. Vettel crosses the line, stays second fastest, but has improved his time to a 132.5. Uh, now, Daniel Ricciardo next to cross the line, ninth fastest, but not by much. Pierre Gasly now 10th fastest is uh, back into the pits. He's not going to improve that. And he's now out of qualifying because Hulkenberg's got himself into Q3. Giovinazzi will be the last to cross the line to see if he can put his Alfa Romeo into Q3. This is the moment where Kimi Räikkönen and his teammate had a bit of a mistake in Q1. Giovinazzi takes it better, but it is only P13 for the Italian driver ahead of Kevin Magnussen. Next stroll. He Stroll could, got to the flag in time, but he's backed out of it. But he has him. backed out of it. Bottas on pole last year. That's his provisional pole time of a 1.32.6. Can Hamilton get anywhere near that? He can better it by about two and a half tenths. Hamilton now on provisional pole. Here comes Sebastian Vettel. No, forget Mercedes. Ferrari on provisional pole with a 1.32.1. But the man who's been on pole for the last three races now rounds the final corner. And Charles Leclerc's on top by three tenths of a second. Bottas, Hamilton, Vettel and Leclerc. They all hold provisional pole or held provisional pole. This man won't get pole, but he could end up fastest. Bit of a scruffy end to the lap. Ends up fifth fastest for Max Verstappen. The deployment of that Ferrari, the electric part of this engine is impressive through here. Right in the bumps very well. Oh, he's overdone it there slightly. A bit of oversteer. How's this first sector going to compare? Yeah, and he's not went any quicker. He's way down. <laughs> well, he's, he's absolutely matched to the uh, last millisecond. What uh, happened before, Leclerc's gone faster by a tenth of a second. That's why I'm seeing his way down, because I was watching the screen of Charles Leclerc behind. <laughs> and Max Verstappen two tenths down in that first sector. So Vettel really has got it all to do now. 
We're watching Sebastian Vettel here, but the challenge is coming from further behind, and it's going to be Charles Leclerc extending his advantage on pole position. Uh, it's a Ferrari front row lockout as it stands at the moment. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line, can't improve on second place. So it's all there, isn't it, for Charles Leclerc? Is it four poles in a row? It is four poles in a row for Charles Leclerc with a 131.6. Max Verstappen, six tenths back, is third fastest, but here come the two Mercedes, trying their hardest to get onto the second row. They'll start, remember, on those medium compound tyres, not the... Oh, Hamilton's put himself on the front row. Brilliant final sector from Lewis Hamilton. He's four tenths down on Charles Leclerc, but he's ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Valtteri Bottas, I think, aborted his lap. The crowd are cheering for Charles Leclerc here. Literally, the last sector. We've seen that. More charge and you have P1. Wow. Yeah, thank you very much. It is now a sixth pole of the season for Charles Leclerc, the most by any other driver. He's got Lewis Hamilton alongside him on the grid for the second week running.